Okay guys, here is my finished Delicates bag. I just used um, this zipper I had laying around that I got from a thrift store like forever ago. Um, and pretty much all I did was um, I just surged the sides and then the bottom is on a fold and then the top is on a fold. And I just sewed the, the zipper up first and then just sewed, surged the sides. Um, but I think that it's gonna be okay for just like a test or whatever. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that the water can get through this fabric and that it works out because I have so much fabric of this. But yeah, this is what it looks like. So, yeah. Okay guys, so if you remember this bra that I was telling you guys that I was rubbing off, I picked out some fabrics um, for a couple different versions I was thinking of. I don't know which one I should do first. So I was thinking of doing one that has this like trico band. Actually, these are basically the same thing. The trico band um, with this sheer cup with no foam at all and just having it sheer on the cup. And then um, I have this. I've used this stuff before to make um, underwear um, for my collection a while back, um, but I was thinking this time to make the bra out of it, and I could do the band out of this and then do it kind of the way this is. I mean, I, obviously this is, you know, made differently with no seam, but this fabric is actually separate from the cup. So I was thinking about making um, a foam cup and then having this um, to cover it with. And I actually bought, I think it was from Bra Maker Supply, I bought this bra foam and it works really nicely. It's pretty thin, um, so it's not like too much extra padding or anything, just enough to give some shape. And I'm not sure which one to do first, because on one hand I think that these might be easier to make, but on the other hand I think that the one with the foam cup would fit more like this since this has a foam cup. Um, so I'm not really sure which one um, I want to go with first. Um, but yeah, those are the two fabric or three fabrics, I guess, I have picked out. Um, if y'all have any opinions on this, let me know. Um, hopefully I get this out before I uh, actually start cutting into it and decide myself. But um, if you guys know which one is going to be the better one to start with, um, leave me a comment down below so I know for future. So today I just wanted to show you guys um, some more things that I'm working on this week that I've picked up. Um, this is a pattern I picked up a long time ago from my friend Gloria. She, I just realized like all my new patterns are pretty much from her. Um, but I started this one a while back and I ended up messing up my waistband with, um, my serger. And so I ended up having to recut a piece, but, um, it took a really long time to get around to doing it, but I finally did it and I'm doing it out of this fabric here. And I think it's really cute. Um, oh, it's, this view is the one I'm doing by the way which is actually the one the model's wearing as well. It's really cute. She has one just like it. And so I was like, I have to borrow that pattern. So um, yeah, so I'm making it out of this guy here and I think it's gonna look really cool. And in fact, I think I barely, barely have enough of this fabric left over to actually make this hoodie. I don't know how it's gonna work um, cause the way this fabric is, but I think it's gonna be okay. Um, I'll barely have enough to make this. If I don't end up having enough, I think I'll just do the hood or something out of, um, another combination of fabrics or maybe make cuffs or something just to save on yardage, but we'll see what happens. Um, but I think that's going to end up really, really cute. Okay, so I've already recut my waistband and I put the elastic in here and, um, just stitched right next to the where the elastic is at and now I'm just going to attach it to the waistband and I'm going to be done with this um I saw this technique done with the waistband at my job I had never actually done it this way before um usually I will feed the casing through like a hole and then stitch the hole up that's usually the way that you see it being done um but they always do this at my job so I'm just gonna trust the professionals on this so far it seems like an you know pretty decent method um, that way you know for sure that your casing is at least large enough um, for your elastic to fit in and you don't usually have any problems with it after that so I'm gonna give it a try and see how it goes but so far so good pretty even too okay guys so the waistband turned out pretty good I'm really just not a fan of like a full elastic waistbands like I don't know I just don't think they're the most flattering but it turned out pretty good considering um i did surge it on the inside and so there is still some wiggle room in here which you want so it doesn't get too tight and then start to like 
fold over or anything, but it looks pretty good. Um, there were a few things I did differently with this guy. So I went ahead and cover stitched the edges. I don't remember what the um, instructions were on it, but um, basically what I had to do is I had to sew up one side here. God, there's thread everywhere. I had to sew up one side, the long, no, the short side, sorry. And then um, I cover stitched all the way to, 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 and all the way back down here. And then I sewed up this part. And what I did was actually, I, um, if you look here on the inside, uh, I serged this part together, but I left this little piece right here to be serged separately. And once again, I still haven't trimmed some of the threads there. Um, and then I folded everything to towards the front and I just did a little stitch right there. It's kind of hard to see, but just that, cause if I did it the other way, then all of this hem would be folded like under like this and you wouldn't even see it. Um, so I stitched it towards the front pretty I mean it was pretty easy to do that so and I think it just makes it look so much more professional when you have that the only thing I think I'm going to do um, on this is I think I'm going to go ahead and cover stitch this seam in here down um, just to help it lay a little bit flatter and smoother because it is at your waist and so you kind of don't want it to be any bulkier than it has to be so I think that is all I'm gonna do on this and it is done